Yo, what's everyone saying? Welcome to episode 6 of Russian Roulette. So after last week's embarrassment, the guy that I beat 3-2 ended up winning. He chose 750 FIFA points over 30k, opened a couple packs and Pat King and Manny does it again because he got something decent. But yeah, in terms of today's episode, you know, I was determined to come back stronger. I was just praying that I get a decent team. And as you can see, I ended up with Brazil's group. I was excited because Jesus has been my OP super sub for a long time now. And I wanted to finally use that untradeable Firmino as well. So let's find out if this team is as good as it looks. The first game looked like it was going to be a serious test because this guy has so many team of the seasons. Couple informs, the gear in goal. The only thing I knew was that this guy doesn't have too much pace and I wanted to use that to my advantage. I didn't get off to the best start because somehow Firmino managed to get a yellow card for this. And I was worried because, you know, I'm not trying to get this guy sent off, but like, Come on EA, what kind of nonsense is that? But you know, I carried on playing, lovely football from these guys, couple drag backs, nice little through balls, and Mr. Reliable, Mr. OP himself, weak foot, first time, Gabriel Jesus makes it 1-0, and I was loving this team. A few minutes later, Willian probably got a deflection or something like that, because the gear usually saves that, but 2-0, I was so comfy, I was enjoying it. Just look at the play, like how many passes is this? Honestly, I had to speed it up, because this video would have been like, 20 minutes long if I showed all the build-ups to all the goals like no one could come near me in this match like look at even there was that Ramos just couldn't handle Jesus Firmino with a lovely finish gets his first goal of the episode and the guy didn't make it better for himself giving me the ball right here once Firmino's in here you know it's like some people are using a pistol but my guy's using a blue AR or even a scar even because this guy's finishing it's like a, he just rifles it in bottom corner and just to top it off I brought on my subs Goretzka, Timo Werner and that I forgot Sun in my reserves for some reason but yeah Nice little play, Firmino completes the hat-trick, man like Bobby Firmino, he was sensational. I thought Son was good, this Firmino is something else, I'm telling you, like he plays like Lozano for me, but just somehow even stronger, faster, everything. And as you can see, it was an even game, but my, I was so clinical, like I didn't let anyone have a chance. And here again, another Spanish team, more team of the seasons, but the forward line was lacking a little bit, and I was hoping that, you know, I could counter on that. And uh, pretty early on, I found my breakthrough. Firmino comes, does a nice little bit of play, has a shot, misses it. And then suddenly, Neymar decides to join the party at last. And from here on, Neymar just became amazing as well. He was getting, look at his strength from him there, literally. So easily wins the ball. A nice couple passes, again. Sometimes I have to speed it up, sometimes I have to cut out all the passing because the goals were just sensational. Look at that, a little turn. Jesus with the strength, puts it at bottom corner again. Something about his use in this game is just like incredible. And that's 2-0. Once again, I'm comfy. You know, last episode when I had all those base goals and non-rares, I was just in my base four minute. Now you're seeing me at Ultra Instinct. When I have a serious team, this is the kind of damage that I can do. Look at this football. Look at this pass. Oh my goodness. Neymar makes it 3-0, 35 minutes in. And you can tell by the pause thing. You're not allowed subs in here, so we know what's gonna happen next. He's out, rage quit, he's gone. Funniest part about this is as well, he DM'd me straight after with a video of him just discarding most of his players because he just couldn't hack how good I was playing. So yeah, the next game was a bit of an interesting one because this match actually was going on his channel as well for a series he's doing where the more goals you score, the higher chance you have of winning a good amount of coins. So I went into it just hoping to score as many as possible. I went all out attack pretty much from the first five minutes, hit the post here. It took a while because when you're forcing it, it just doesn't really happen, innit? Like, I wasn't playing my normal way, I just wanted to try and score as many as possible. Forgot about defending, forgot about everything. Look how long Firmino's running with this. No one is getting anywhere near him. He's been running for about five minutes and puts it in again. Just rifles it, bottom corner, keeper stands, no chance. So again, you know, I'm thinking, all right, I just want to get as many goals as possible because it was for his series, really. I wanted as many goals as possible so I could try and win that 50k. And uh, after, again, beautiful football. Just look at this. This is Joga Bonito. This is Samba football, do you know what I mean? This is like Ronaldinho kind of football there. Firmino is the one that puts it in the net this time. But then, as I said, I mean, I'll blame EA for this one, but he deserved a goal in the end. I can't lie, it was some really good football. But I think it was mainly my fault because I went all out attack, like I said. I just couldn't care less about defending. Because no matter how many times he scored, it wouldn't really affect my chances too much. I was just hoping, as long as I win and get a lot of goals, fine. But as soon as he did that, I went on normal because I was kind of worried. And then quickly got a goal back, 3-2. And once again, I was in cruise control right here. Do you know what I mean? Like, there was no problem. Son finally came on. Lozano whips it in, Jesus, bullet header from Jesus, I'm telling you, this guy can do anything at all and within what, a few minutes later, I think it was, yeah, 10 minutes later, the defending again was amazing, no one could get anywhere near Silva or Marquinhos as well, he was kind of surprising, I thought he'd be the weak link but he wasn't, 
A nice little through ball to Firmino, back to Jesus, first time, left foot once again, Jesus buries it, bottom left corner. That's the game there, another five goals for me, another total dominant performance. And the next game, this was a good team. This was probably more expensive than mine based on the team of the seasons. But unfortunately the game was ruined by the lag because as you can see here, you know, somehow the button like just stopped. I couldn't control the ball anymore. He gets through and makes it 1-0. I couldn't really argue too much because, you know, I, it was my fault with the connection. I, I don't know what happened, but my internet went so bad at like 9pm yesterday. I, honestly, it was 9pm Thursday when I recorded this. I managed to get a goal back though, but as you can see, it was so jammy. The way like people were flying everywhere, tackles were just going wrong all over the place. I did get a goal back though as you saw and I got a nice finish again, Jesus, Mr. Reliable, 2-1 to me right before half time and uh, the guy decided to quit but do you know what, because I'm a fair guy, I'm a nice guy, it was my fault for the poor connection, I said alright, do you know what, have one point. Now onto the team, I mean my MVP is probably going to have to be Firmino because 6 goals and 3 assists in what, 2.5 games probably because of those rage quits? Nine goals in two and a half games, that's just ridiculous. But I can't lie, everyone was amazing. Everyone did bits. They were just wonderful. Honestly, I did not want to sell this team afterwards. I can't even give you a donkey of the day. Maybe I'll give it to BT for just having such terrible broadband and ruining that last game that would have been pretty interesting. You guys earned one point in total, even though no one could get anywhere near me. I'm allowing you the one point. I'm not going to do the spinny wheel. What I'm going to do is, first person that played on the episode to DM me will just get the 5K straight away. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I found it amazing. I was in enjoying it. I was loving the game. Just two countries left to go, France and Russia, so big polar opposite. So we'll see what happens there, but other than that, that's all from me. I'll catch you guys in a bit.